Hello and welcome to part two of my quest for cooler VRAM temperatures in my RTX 3090 which came out of my HP Omen 30L and in this video we're going to have a head-to-head -head between the 3090 that I have changed out the thermal pads and have an additional heat sink and that'll be going up against this SkyTech PC which I couldn't find one with a 3090, but I got the next best thing, so it's got a RTX 3080 inside. And it did have the same problem when I was trying to mine. Um, with the case closed, um, right out of the box, I tried mining, and within a minute it jumped to about 108C, and it started to throttle, so it's having the same problem. So right now, both computers have the case open, and it is about... 73 degrees Fahrenheit for the ambient temperature. So let's go take a look at the two contenders. First up is the HP Omen, and it has the new thermal pads over the VRAM. I changed the thermal paste and also put extra thermal paste around the copper area. Uh, that's discussed in the previous video, so if you want to watch that, um, the link will be in the description below. And um, Obviously, there's a uh, additional heat sink and fan on top to help draw up the heat that's coming from the, the back plate. So, let's check out the other one. So, this is the SkyTech PC. has a G RTX 3080 inside. I haven't changed anything out, so it's stock. Um, the only thing I've done is underclock the memory in afterburner because it was running very hot so let's take a closer look at the uh, the results and the afterburner settings so this is the SkyTech PC with the 3080 and I had to underclock the memory as far as it would go to try to reduce the VRAM temperatures and the power limits set to uh, 90 is usually pretty good and let me take a look at the the Omen PC. So I tried to get pretty close to the other PC just to kind of have a ballpark of how they uh, compared at the same memory underclock so I basically turned that all the way down and reduced the power limit and the base is turned down a little bit so let me uh, turn that up just a little bit so it matches the 1245 I don't think that little bit of a difference is going to change too much, but you can see the difference between the temperatures. So this one has a VRAM temperature at 86, and the the core temperature is at 65. It's a little higher than I'd like it to be, but it's not it's not bad. And the SkyTech is at 96, and has a lower core temperature and you can see the difference in the the hash rate so you're sacrificing some hash rate by doing the memory underclock on the SkyTech since it has the stock um, the stock card so we haven't done anything to it yet but you can get a, a difference of <clears throat> you know 10 degrees and uh, you can overclock it to I got it almost 900 overclocked and then after that you kind of get diminishing returns so but you can get this thing running pretty quick so let me uh, turn it up in afterburner to uh, the preset I have and it runs I had it running at 76 Fahrenheit ambient a couple of days ago and it was between 94 and 96 for the VRAM temperatures, but it's a little cooler tonight, so it's uh, about 73 Fahrenheit. So it, it'll probably balance out, I would say about 90. So I'll let it run for a little while and uh, we'll see what those temperatures are looking like. I'm going to uh, set the same um, overclock on the other card and see what happens as well. Okay, I set it about 30 seconds ago on the 
3080 that hasn't had the thermal pads changed out and you can already see in 30 seconds it's skyrocketed to 104 right there and it's bouncing up so it's already getting hot so that's something you're really not going to be able to run it at an overclock even with the case open unless you do something about it so I've been running it for about an hour and it's got the um, I turned down the core clock a little bit for increased efficiency and just about 900 boost on the memory clock and it's running pretty stable between you know 67 68 on the core temps and 90 and 92 so an average around 90 on the VRAM temperatures. And let's compare that to the SkyTech. So right now I have the memory underclocked as far as it would go and the core clock is as far down as it would let me go as well. And even with that and the case open it's going to sit around 96, got an average, so it's going between 94 and 96, so an average of 94, but you have to sacrifice the, uh, the hash rate just to maintain a low temperature for the VRAM. So I had a couple of people ask about what I use to uh, replace the thermal pads, so this is what I ended up getting and it's a uh, just a basic thermal pad I got off of Amazon it had a pretty high thermal conductivity compared to some other ones so I went with that um, I tried with one and a half millimeters I thought it was just a little bit too thick so I would go with the one millimeter maybe even uh, 0 0.5 but I, I was going to try the one millimeter when I uh, change out the pads in the 3080 next I had ordered some thermal grizzlies but this package I got was a little suspicious. It said there was supposed to be a, a certificate inside, like a certificate of authenticity, and there was nothing inside. And I called or I sent the guys at Thermal Grizzly a email, and they said that their um, minus pads aren't supposed to come with a, a certificate. And on if you look at the pictures on the website, there's that little sticker that says there's supposed to be one inside isn't on the package either so I wasn't sure if this was fake or not so I'm actually going to send this back to Amazon they agreed to take it back because it was a little bit suspicious also the uh, barcode if you look at all the pictures I, I saw like on Google uh, the, the edges for the corners of the barcode were, were really sharp edges and this one has rounded corners so it it just it was a little bit off I didn't want to take the chance of putting a uh, you know god knows what in the uh inside of my card so just get some some stuff like this and it should do the trick i use a mx4 thermal compound i didn't really uh want to take the risk of using like something like this the you know the liquid metal stuff because if that uh, spills where it's not supposed to be it's conductive and you can short something out so i didn't want to take that chance so that's about it i would say it's it's definitely worth it to change out the thermal pads on the Omen. The only problem is the case is just awful of getting that heat out of there. So if you close it up, you, you're gonna end up having to turn it down. Um, so I'm gonna actually keep the case open and then uh, blow it out um, every now and then because um, the dust is gonna get um, inside of the card where it really uh, wouldn't before. But other than that, uh, it's definitely worth it to to try to drop the temperatures about. I got about 10 C drop uh, on the thermals by changing out the pads and putting a little bit more pace. So it might be worth it for you. So uh, let me know what you think. If you have any other suggestions, um, let me know. And um, thanks for watching.